Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We've got some strong storms out there tonight that are continuing to develop. These are the ones that I kind of anticipate being with us uh, for some of the overnight hours. I'll zoom in on these. You can see these moving through parts of the foothills right now. A pretty strong cluster of storms that are from Morganton to Lenore over towards Taylorsville. Actually had some small hail with that cell earlier. Uh, you can see the movement off to the east. The thing that's impressive about these is how much cloud to ground lightning they're producing. And that usually means you have very healthy updrafts with all these. Let's take a quick look at the Doppler slicer here and I kind of show you a cross section of what these look like. This will give you a, somewhat of a view of how tall they are. We're going to cross section these right here and you can see these are getting up there close to some of the towers almost 30,000 feet so pretty tall storms overall we've also got some strong storms in the upstate of South Carolina those have prompted some new severe thunderstorm warnings primarily for some some wind and that's what we're seeing with those had a little cluster of showers move across the Piedmont one little flood warning down from Marlboro County um, small area there let's look at the velocity data real quickly just to see um, if we're detecting much wind in these and you can see yeah I got some wind coming out of these down in the upstate probably some small hail um, so far not a ton of wind out of these storms to the north but certainly something to keep an eye on and this is a pattern we're going to see for the next couple of days because you can see showers and thunderstorms developing all around us right now this will be probably into the overnight hours so it's kind of an interesting setup here where even during the overnight we're going to see some pretty active storms now it's nothing like what's happening in the middle of the country with big time severe weather risk so let's look at the risk the next couple of days um, i'll quickly show you the risk right now you can see that uh, extreme risk in the middle of the country you don't see that very often and the black area means significant ef2 three tornadoes you see the low risk kind of makes it all the way to the carolinas tomorrow we'll be under a low risk again for um, some strong storms but i really think wednesday into thursday is going to be probably our biggest risk because if you look carefully you can see the, the risk is low, low medium and then high back to the west i think we're going to see big storms making a run at us as we go into wednesday night and early on thursday and we've already seen our area put under a low risk for thursday to the east and this kind of shows you what's happening you're going to see a line of storms kind of move across the the area and be here overnight and by morning start to develop back here in eastern and central north carolina so what could this look like well let's look at the latest future cast i'll show you um, this one just got done running, I think, here. We'll see if we get the this next one should be coming in. But you see the cluster of storms that might come in overnight, like 2, 3 in the morning. That moves through. Tomorrow will be an interesting day because the sun is going to be out. It's going to be hot, super sticky and humid. So by evening, we might see a cluster of, of strong storms developing 5, 6, 7 o'clock. That pushes through. And then I want you to watch Wednesday. Wednesday is interesting. First thing in the morning, not a lot going on. Some storms falling apart. But notice the sun all day. So by 3 o'clock, I mean, the sun has been baking us. And I think these storms are going to be a lot stronger than indicated in our future cast. So I'm not buying this right now. It just goes to show you sometimes the guidance can be a little off here. Uh, but you see them kind of fall apart. I think this is something I would watch carefully right around 4, 5, 6 o'clock wednesday evening and then going into the morning hours on thursday look at this line of storms three four in the morning so this is why you're seeing that risk on thursday it'll likely be for storms developing over us and then kind of redeveloping as they push off to the east so i would not be surprised to see these kind of uh weaken a little bit in the morning hours and then perk back up to the east as they push through so one of the things i look at quite often is thunderstorm fuel how much fuel for storms obviously tonight um you can see there's some that lingers into the overnight tomorrow during the day look at all that i mean that's a lot of fuel um kind of in the low to moderate range so a scattered isolated strong storm certainly possible but i want to focus on wednesday remember wednesday i said how late in the day i'm a little more concerned look at this down here that's a lot of fuel. You're up in the moderate to high range for thunderstorm fuel. So I think that's something we're going to have to watch very carefully Wednesday evening. So it's certainly uh, something we want you to be aware of. We want you to stay weather aware for Wednesday into Thursday. Um, I potentially could see us having more of a threat on Wednesday than on Thursday. But don't be surprised um, if we see strong storms come at us in waves. One during the day on Wednesday and another one early Thursday and even tomorrow an isolated severe storm the pattern really here the next three days um, is very very strong to severe storms if they do develop the atmosphere is very right from now the good news 
once we get to Thursday afternoon and evening, the front clears, and it's a beautiful weekend. I mean, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, refreshing air. Temperatures only in the low 70s, morning lows in the 40s and 50s, and no humidity. So there's some good news. It's going to come at the price of some strong storms, but certainly something that we'll keep an eye. Of course, I will post updates over the next couple of days, and you can get complete details here at WCNC in the morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you want on all your platforms.